Hello. Here we are going to see about this 741 op amp chamber. In the market, various types of chainer are available, but they are costly. Any experiment using IC you can do on whiteboard also, but that is also a little bit difficult. This trainer you can construct for your own, it is very cheap. So let's see how you can do various experiment on this 741 trainer. On this trainer you can do minimum 8 experiment. In linear application you can do inverting and non-inverting operational amplifier experiment then adder then subtractor then using this part and this part you can do comparator then this part switch trigger then you can do buffer also and digital to analog converter here we used dual inline socket but instead of that you can use ZIF ZIF zero insertion force socket like this On this trainer, you can do experiment easily, effectively, and of course, to make this board, the cost is also less. Here you are seeing this 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 green color sockets are for ground connection. This is positive 15. This is negative 15. So dual power supply you have connect red wire to positive, black wire to negative and ground to this connection. This is the dual power supply. From this positive terminal you can connect to this plus 15 hold, minus 15 hold and this ground you can connect here. You can use plus minus 12 hold, plus minus 18 hold dual power supply also. This one is the output terminal. From this you can connect to digital multimeter the other terminal of the digital multimeter should be connected to ground. Here you can see that this digital material is connected to this output terminal and ground. Then for measuring voltage DC or AC you can turn so this DC or AC which is nothing is connected here therefore it is showing 0 0 if you want to see waveform then you can connect CRO in between these two terminal then for feedback you can use this path where there are three paths if you want to use 10k register in the feedback then you can connect this for 100k this or any other value you can connect externally in between these two socket terminals here you are seeing IC inserted in, in this socket 
This is pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here it is. Circular mark is there. And semicircle is also available present on some ICs to start counting. Wherever this mark is there, adjacent to this is pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, opposite is 5, 6, 7, 8. Here you are seeing this circle. See that circle? Here at the center there is a semicircle. So from the left hand side of this semicircle, you have to start counting 1, 2, 3, 4, then opposite to 4 is 5, 6, 7, 8. So in this way, you can connect the different pins. You can see once again this is the inverting terminal pin number two pin number three is non-inverting terminal this 10 kilo potentiometer is for offset adjustment then these three potentiometer 10 kilo are for different inputs V1, V2, V3. In adder, you will require this V1, V2, V3, all three. In inverting, non inverting, you will require only one. For subtractor, you will require this non-inverting input, sorry, this non-inverting input and this inverting input V2 minus V1. So, these sockets you should not use in all the experiments. Out of these three, you have to use any one. In adder, only these three inputs you have to connect. Otherwise, this one. This one is in subtractor. This in smith trigger. ST is written here, smith trigger. This is for CP, means comparator 10K, 10K. And this when you want to give from negative to positive or from zero to positive input voltage by varying this potentiometer you can give variable input voltage. Here you are seeing this thick continuous line it means this socket this socket and this socket all these three are internally connected through wire here you are seeing this dotted means if you want to connect this pin to ground through 10 kilo register then externally insert banana pin in these sockets if you want to use 100 kilo then insert in between these two here i am showing if you want to use 10k then insert this banana pin in this way if you want to connect 100k then here
by varying this potentiometer you can change the gain for example if you want the gain of 10 then this feedback register if selected 10k then this potentiometer value should be 1k if you want gain 2 then this 10k and this should be 5k so 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2 and if this potentiometer is kept at 2 kilo then 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 gain 